What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel and by the title and the thumbnail that you clicked on this video, you want to see this thing low. You you just have to, right? Little mother f <laughs> Welcome everybody to some Forza Horizon 5 and in today's video I'm going to be playing around with a brand new car to this game. Not brand new car to the series. This is the Bentley Turbo R. Uh, the car that has no uh, thumbnail for me at all because it's bugged. <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But yeah, the way you get this thing is just get your 20 points for this week, and that's pretty much it. So it's pretty straightforward on the way you get this uh, this this Bentley that we have here. Now, I don't think there's anything special about this guy. However, back in Horizon 4, when I ended up making a video on this thing, I always thought that this car should be like a VIP spec, super low to the ground, lots of chrome, and just have a look crazy, right? That's that's the first thing that I think of when I see this car. If I see the like the a fully fully stock one with like no special paint or anything like that, I actually saw one of these the other day. It was like in a really dark green. I was like, this is it. This is just purely a granddad's car. However, I think if you build this correctly, you can get it to like the VIP spec build that I want to try and do for today's video. So that's what's happening for today. So this is the car. This is what we have here: Bentley Turbo R. It's okay. I mean, it's it's an old it's an old Bentley, super luxurious and big V8, and it's just it's it's just a, a nice car. It's basically a basically you know what a Bentley is, right? It's a it's just a proper luxury car. Um, well, this one is from back in the day. I was about to say from back in the day, but this one is from back in the day, from 1991. Now, the engine that we have in it now, I think it's a V8. I'm pretty sure it's a V8 from. From what I can hear, it is a V8, right? Uh, let's have a look here. 6.7 liter. It definitely sounds like a V8. It doesn't rev high at all. It's really, really slow, actually. I have driven this thing completely stock. It's so slow. I don't even want to show you guys how slow this thing is. Completely stock. So I'm going to be doing stuff to it. Not only just making it... That's a lot of engine stops that we have available. Not only am I going to make this thing as low as possible, I'm also going to show you guys what else we can do with this thing. So we can put a diesel in it. That would be kind of funny. A 7.7 .7 liter V12. A 7.4 liter V8 twin turbo. And we could put the W12 in it, which I think needs to go on this thing. I think the W12 from the newer Bentleys needs to go in it. I love that W12. What's the 7.7 .7 V12 out of? I looked it up. I had to look it up. It's the TVR. It is the TVR uh, Cerber Speed 12. That is where this engine comes from. That is very, very cool. Seriously cool. I think it has to be the W12 though. I feel like it does. Uh, I'm going to keep, keep this thing rear-wheel drive. It doesn't really make too much of a difference anyway. Visually, I'm not really going to change anything to this car. Because it, all the parts just look ugly. We need some big chrome wheels on this thing now. I still kind of want to keep like the tires fairly fairly standard. You know, like street tires or something like that. We're not going to do anything like this to uh, to, to the poor car. I'm going to keep this thing, like I said, at least somewhat a little bit close to, uh, to street tires. So that is... Probably what I'm gonna go with. I'm probably just gonna go with these three tires here. As for the width of these, we're at 235s right now. We could do maybe 255s on the front and the rear. That's not too bad. We can go actually really wide. Jesus, 305s. It doesn't. It actually doesn't even look that big on this car. Now, like I said, I want to go full chromies on this thing. Just full chrome wheels on it, and get it to be huge. Get it to be absolutely massive on it. I don't remember exactly what wheels I ended up putting on the car back in Horizon 4, but I want to go put on some big old wheels on this thing. I don't know why. I want to try these. I just want to see what they're like. I just want to see what they look like once they're really, really big and chrome as well. Um, as we can make them fairly large here. 20 inch front and rear. It's going to look completely different, by the way, once it's fully, fully lowered. Uh, I think I need to do this as well. I, I definitely do think I need to, uh, <laughs> to bring... To bring those tires out quite a bit, or the wheels, I guess, out quite a bit. Um, I will, like I said, keep upgrading this thing regardless of me driving this thing fast or not, because it's just going to be, uh, it's just going to be just picturesque. Like the, the build for this. Okay, so this is pretty much what it's going to be like on drift suspension. I'm going to probably get rid of a little bit of the camera because I, as much as I don't like, I mean, I don't like the stance builds, but I think. I think this is one of those cars that I don't think it deserves to be like super, super stanced out. So 
yes, as a drift build, this could be kind of sick if I had the if I had some camera on it. But I think right now, just the way this looks, I think it needs to be white as well. I think white is the color that I've had in the Horizon 4 build. I think that was really, really clean on it. I really, really liked it. So I'm probably going to do something like that. Now, for the... Let's do this, actually, first of all. We'll bring this to about three degrees. A little bit of camera is fine. I'm not really too fussy about that. Right height, even lower. Perfect. Springs as soft as possible. Springs and dampers, we're going to go as soft as possible, front and rear. Um, and you'll see exactly why in a minute. Now, you may be wondering, you know, this doesn't even look that low. How, how is this so low in the thumbnail? Well, you'll see in a sec. You will see in a sec, everyone. All right, I just want to do that just to make sure that that is all set up. Uh, how low is it now? It should be a little lower. It is a little bit lower right now. That's not too bad. As long as it tucks away, and this is, it's not a lot of camber either, which I like that. That's perfect. Um, right, designer paints. Let's have a look at some... I actually do think these wheels suit, suit this guy. That took a while, though. Oh, some of the colors, though. Some of the colors look good. This is the color that I saw. I saw the one in the other day. Oh, the blue looks so good. Even this looks clean. This has some really nice colors. Really, really nice colors. It's got to be the white though. The white with the pinstripe. It's like a weird, like brown pinstripe on the side of it, like brownish gold pinstripe. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, the mirrors. Do I want to paint these chrome? Let's paint these chrome. Why not? Lots of chrome on this thing. It needs to happen, you know what I mean? Like, this is, like I said, a VIP build. It's got to have chrome all over the thing. Uh, nothing there. And then the wheels. The wheels, I'm going to paint the entire thing. Just chrome. And see what they look like. They should look really, really good. Super, super reflective as well. Lots of spokes. You got a lot of reflection there. That's perfect. Uh, the brakes, I don't actually want the brakes to stand out at all. So I'm going to paint those black. And then the tints as well. I'm just going to give it, you know dark dark tints and that's pretty much it so that is what the exterior of this thing looks like now we need to lower this thing well it is lowered but we need to lower it even more and the way to do that everyone is with a nice special map which i have already set up so it's really really low now to the point where it's clipping quite a bit maybe i do need to go ahead and and camera the wheels or or I need to go and get rid of uh, some of the some of the, the the track width because I think I don't want it to clip. You know, I also don't want it to look like that, but I don't want it to clip at all. When it's turning, it's fine if it's clipping, but otherwise, I, I really don't want this thing to, to clip too much. I think this could be fine if I just bring it out to that point there, right? I think it's fine. The back wheels shouldn't be that bu that big of a problem, but this is gonna get even lower, like significantly lower. So that's why I'm trying to make this thing look good, especially for pictures. But anyway, let's have a look and see now. <laughs> I'm going to bring it over to the map. What's the drive like though, first of all? Again, fully soft suspension. Okay. Okay. I mean, lots of torque with street tires. All the power going to the rear wheels. Oh god, it's a feisty one. There's no clipping at all as well on the front end. That is nice. <laughs> it's so it's still slow. It's still not very fast. Alright, anyway, let's bring it over to the event lab. Event blueprints. Go over to my favorites and see if I can find it. There it is. 100 times gravity, 100 times torque. The gravity is the thing that's gonna change this thing a lot. It's going to absolutely change the way this thing looks. It's going to look insane. I can already tell. It is going to look crazy. It's still not lowered until I press start race. Let's see. How much lower does this get? There's the drop. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, clipping definitely happens now. That's so cool. That is so cool. I actually expected it to be a little bit lower than what it is now. But I feel like it, it reaches its uh, its limit to how low this guy can actually get. 
I'm pretty sure. I don't think you can clip it into the ground or anything like that. You can't go that low. I wish we could put 21s on it. I really do wish we could put 21s on it. I'm gonna get out of this place and go to the to the main road so I can actually have a look at this. Properly. Oh my god! The gravity on this thing <laughs> just makes it so bouncy. Why can you actually not bring it over to the main road? Oh, that's stupid. Why would you stop it? Anyway, let's just go into photo mode. Have a look at this thing. <laughs> it's so low. Oh my god. No, my poor wheels. Wait, let me... I think if I reset the cosmetic damage, there we go. It just gets rid of that. That's clean. Look how low that is. So that's pretty much what I wanted to do with this car. And with this build, just go really, really low. I think, yeah, I think if I bring the, the wheels out a little bit more, they will start clipping like mad. So I think that's fine. That is very, very low to the ground. Really, really low. Like I said, VIP spec build, boys. That's clean. I like that a lot. I like the white as well. I feel like it doesn't hide any of the details or anything like that. I feel like the camera is a little bit overexposed, though. Let's bring that exposure down. A little bit and same with the brightness here and the contrast make this thing nice and nice and balanced so i'll end up changing that later on anyway but yeah this is, this is pretty much what we're working with really really low bentley very very clean i like it i'm not still 100 percent sure about the wheels i feel like there's probably better wheels uh, or better selection of wheels out there for this thing but it's not too bad looking it just modernizes the car a little bit like i said it just Turns it into like that VIP spec build that you see in Japan with like the the old either old German cars or you see uh, a lot of a lot of Japanese cars like the the Toyota Crowns and, and Centuries and stuff like that and you have the Lexus Lexuses LSs and GSs and yeah there's there's a lot of cool stuff in Japan that you see that's built out like this basically super super low to the ground fancy chrome everywhere and big old big old bolts very luxurious bolts super cool thing. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of making cars incredibly low, but like some of the cars, I think they just look really, really good. Well, that's cool. At least our build's done. Uh, should I try to take this thing sideways since I put drift suspension and everything on it? I feel like it should... It should possibly be decent sideways. I'm down. Let's just do it. Why not? It's not a lot of torque. Like I said, it's, it's on street tires, so it doesn't really have... Um, it doesn't really have a lot of grip, so... I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it happens. It's still A class as well, which makes it even funnier to me. But yeah, anyway, let's uh, let's take it out and just try to actually drive this thing like this, just the way it is now. Let's see what it's capable of. Okay, I changed my tune slightly, not enough that I uh, <laughs> I won't be able to drive this thing the same way. I changed my gear ratios pretty much, and uh, and my camber and tow. That's that's about it though. I left the suspension really really soft. It won't make too much of a difference because this is already as low as possible. So, the only other way that you can get this thing lower is what you've just seen is by, by messing with the gravity, but... If you want a slow drifter, like something really, really slow to slide around with, pro this could possibly be quite decent to tandem with as well. Especially with those street tires. It's nice and slow. Take your time with it. I mean, it's front engine. It's rear wheel drive. It's got a lot of power. It's got a lot of torque. It's pretty much the same as every other car in this game. That's that's like that. It drives really easily. Super easy car to slide. It feels like a big, big old barge though to, to drive. Because it is. How much weight does it actually have right now? Did I, I did weight reduction on it, didn't I? So it's 1.8, 1.9, sorry, it's 1.9 tons right now. And I'm pretty sure this is after the, the weight reduction. So it's a big, heavy bolt, this thing. But I like it. I like how just a, a simple little setup like this, which isn't even built for drifting, really. Somehow still does quite well. But again, like I said, it's front engine, it's rear wheel drive, it's got the power there. You are playing Forza. I feel like everything is driftable in, in Forza, you know what I mean? But like that's that's a given. As soon as you get something like this, it's it's just 
too easy to go sideways. In it. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's easy. It just is easy. It's de it's definitely a slow, a slow drifter. Like you you just you take your time with it. You don't go around smashing it into corners, trying to go for points or anything like that. You you just take your time with this thing and sort of enjoy it. Even the transitions are so sluggish, but like I said, you have the power to keep yourself side of us all the time. And you're doing it in luxury. Like, your character inside the car, I bet he's so comfortable right now. Smelling all that wood, and it's actual wood, it's not like fake wood or anything. Oh. Can you smell it through the screen? <laughs> Why am I sideways? My- <laughs> I just noticed. That because I painted my windows, it literally looks like I genuinely painted my windows and it's not tint. Because <laughs> not only is it darker, but they also look like they have a texture on them where they're just really, really hazy. Oh god. For god's sake. It's so stupid. Why did they look like that? It's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I literally painted my windows. Oh man. It's so easy to drive. You just have to be careful though when you pick up speed with this thing, because like I said, it's on street tires, so the grip is... Uh, it's like kind of there, sometimes, maybe. It's easy. It's super easy. Lots of steering angle. It doesn't want to spin out at all. It's beautiful to drive. It's really nice. Handbrake works really, really well on these tires as well, so you don't really have to worry about that. You need to extend your slide or... Or something like that. Super, super easy to drive. I really like it. Even with the terrible setup that it has now. Like, everything really, really soft suspension, pretty much. Everything not really built for that. It's kind of built for, for taking pictures and having this thing just be as low as possible. Even now, it feels solid. This W12 sounds good, too. It's like, so... So low tone. Even when you rev it out, like it doesn't rev out to like a really high RPM. It's just low tone, very torquey. Very cool. I do really like this engine now. I've I've had it obviously in the in the other Bentleys and uh, I've driven this or with this engine before. And it's it's really really nice. So adding it to this old old boat here. I think I kind of needed it. Because the other engine that I had in it, that V8, was so slow. It revved up to like 4,000 RPM. It was the slowest thing in the world. Yeah, I mean, you can just keep going for days with this thing. Sliding it. It's so easy. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. The new Bentley, well, new as in new to this game. Bentley Turbo R. Super, super nice. I built it the perfect spec as well. Very, very low VIP spec build. Mostly for pictures, just because I want to see what it'd look like in this game, but it definitely doesn't disappoint, especially with the uh, the gravity changes. It makes it look even lower and even more crazy. But that's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.